Hey guys, it's me, Ebony the Fashionista here, and I want to come and bring you a Sunday morning getting ready with me video. So I really get to make up, wear makeup during the week. So since I got to wear makeup today, I wanted to share with you guys. I'm loving how glowy my skin is, how rosy my cheeks are, and how pink those lips are. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, then stay tuned. So I've primed my eyes, done my brows, and now I'm using the Shade and Light Quad in the color Rust from Kat Von D. And I'm using the actual color Rust in my as, and yeah, in my crease. As my transition color so I'm just bling, blending that out I'm actually applying it with the blending brush so that I can get a even coverage so it doesn't look splotchy or I don't have to do any extra blending because it just eliminates one step now I'm gonna go in with this brown color and my definer brush and I'm going to define my outer V as well as my crease now that I'm done with that I'm going to go in with my blending brush and blend everything together so that everything looks seam seamless and there are no lines of demarcation so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with this white color. It's a white matte color, and I'm putting it underneath my um, arch of my brow, and I'm using that as my brow bone highlight. Now, you want to make sure you blend it out because it looks a little chalky, so you don't want that chalky look. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our lid. We're going to use this Kat Von D True Romance Ludwig palette, and we're going to use this white gold color in the inner third, including my tear duct. Then after that, we're gonna go in with this beautiful bronzy gold color, but first we need to spray my brush with Fix Plus to intensify the color. Then we're gonna apply it. Ooh, how pretty is that? So we're putting it right in the center of the lid. Then we're gonna go in with mascara. I love my mascara. This is the MDM Flow Mascara. I use it all of the time, honey. Make sure you don't get it on your crease. I did it, so it's okay. It's fixable, but just make sure you don't get it on there. So, yeah, make sure those lashes are going high to the heavens to Jesus. So now we're going to go to the face. I'm going to spray with Fix Plus, and we're going to move on to foundation. So I'm going to be using my MAC Mash Master Foundation in the color um, 6.0. I'm going to blend that out with my blending brush. Then I'm gonna go in with my Bright Future um, Concealer from um, Sephora. It's the um, color Pecan Pie Concealer. And yeah, I really like it. It's a, a Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. And I really like this concealer. And I'm putting it underneath my eyes only. And then the residue, I just put it on my forehead and on my nose. I don't like to put too much in those areas because they already are pretty large. Then I'm gonna take my Rimmel Kate Moss sculpting kit and I'm taking the highlighter from it and I'm highlighting my face. Now if ever I put a highlighter on my forehead I always have to blend it out so it doesn't look too shiny. Now I am taking my Turks and Caicos bronzer and blush duo from Elf Cosmetics and I'm bronzing the heck out of my face. Yes honey work that is so beautiful. I love bronzing um, more than I do contouring so yeah I'm taking my It Cosmetics CC Radiance blush in the color Coral Flush. I wish I would have shown it to you because it's such a pretty blush. And now I'm going in with more highlighter from my, so I'm just putting my Estee Lauder highlighter and then my Fix Plus. Then I'm gonna go ahead and shake my face to make sure everything's looking good. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my lipstick. I'm so happy to put on pink lipstick. I have not owned pink lipstick in a really long time, but it's springtime, which is perfect for pink lipstick. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit more of that rust eyeshadow on into my crease and in my lower lash line, just to smoke it out a bit. Never too much smoke. <laughs> So now I'm going to put some shea butter on my hair just to hydrate it a little bit. And then I'm just going to put two flat twists in the front to just make it look like I'm put together but not too put together, if that makes sense. So it's just, you know, really effortless and cute hair. So after that, I'm going to take my translucent powder and put that underneath my bronzer so that it doesn't look muddy. Um, but first, let me put on my earrings. Get those earrings on, girl. Super cute. So I'm taking the translucent powder, putting it underneath my contour just to make sure that it looks nice and sharp. So now I'm just going to fix this twist. It was going down, straight down, and I wanted to go up a little bit. So I'm just fixing that. And then after that, I'm just going to put on some fragrance mist. I love my Tahiti Island Dream. It is my favorite fragrance. So I'm just going to put that on all over to make sure I'm smelling good. Smelling good, looking good, honey. So I just set my face with my face powder. It's um, the mattifying powder from BH Cosmetics, and I just put that all over. So I'm just showing you my outfit, showing you my shoes, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you. Bye.